Welcome to week three. I can't believe we made it this far. It's kind of gone by really fast. Um, so week three is called Restore. It's when we start taking out um, grains and legumes, which I'm actually pretty happy about because when I eat beans and legumes, it's just, um, it doesn't make me feel the best. Let's just explain it that way. Um, so you take out grains and legumes and you are you're just eating a vegetable and fruit based diet for one week. We also add in a supplement called Restore which is basically a probiotic. So this week is all about you know getting to a totally um, fruit and vegetable diet and repopulating our gut and intestines with good bacteria. That way our bodies can start um, processing the foods that we eat better. to leave out my meal prep for this video just because you've already seen it two times um, but basically I'm gonna be eating salads for lunch with a sweet potato on the side so I have two kinds of salads that I'm going to be eating and I'm going back and forth between like a mixed green with fruit salad and a Greek salad okay so those are my two salads uh, for breakfast I'm just eating fruit um, and for dinners, it's basically either sauteed vegetables in like an Asian style or like roasted vegetables with um, squash, okay? So those are my meals. And you know, I'm still drinking lots of tea, lots of water, um, and I'm still taking Optimize. So I'm gonna be taking Optimize, the greens, and Restore, okay? So those are the... Um, those are the supplements I'll be taking in stage three, week three. So last week, as you can tell from the last video, I was a little bit on the cranky side. It was right around Halloween and I was just finishing that time of the month. So I was a little bit cranky to begin with and then when you take away all of the food that I'm used to eating, it kind of all just built up. So this week, I'm hoping to really level out and kind of um, you know, really get rid of those emotions. I'm feeling really good on the inside right now, no stomach aches or anything. So now I'm hoping it's gonna just be a big head game for me this week. So let's go ahead and get started. drink an extra supplement but I do have to still replace that supplement with pills so right now I am taking um, it's like 14 supplements a day and one of them is the power green so that's the one I drink and then the rest are all in like capsule form so I am swallowing a lot of like vitamins and supplements and um, I normally don't do that. I'm gonna be happy when that part is over just because I, I don't really love swallowing capsules. But um, I'm feeling good right now. It's still the beginning of the week. I haven't noticed any huge changes compared to last week. to know that you know the finish line is right there and the end is coming near it's really hard for me to follow such a strict eating schedule for three weeks and I think a lot of the girls in the group feel the same way you know they're ready for a little bit of freedom eat when you're hungry don't worry about eating or don't worry about taking a supplement and waiting a half hour every time you need to eat so I think we're all kind of over that part but everyone in the group, including myself, we're all feeling really good right now. Um, some of the girls have measured themselves. You're at the end of your program and you're just ready to be finished. Results are kind of the thing that keep you going. So I measured myself and I, I realized I've lost about eight inches so far. I know that that it's working 
and that all of this timed eating and all these supplements have, um, you know, they've been showing physical results, so that's pretty cool. I feel really good on the inside. Um, all the girls in the group are noticing that they just feel good. We all have more energy. So, um, although we're all ready for the program to kind of be done and kind of like have a little more freedom back, we are all feeling really good and we are learning a lot. And tomorrow, I have my very first massage and facial, which is pretty neat. Um, they recommend that if you want to, that you get a massage during the ultimate reset to help like loosen your muscles and get your muscles to release toxins. So um, you know if you want to invest in a massage, it would be the time, it would be a good time to do it. It's the last day, I'm so excited. So yesterday I was lucky enough to get a massage and facial. I'm feeling like a new person right now. I'm a little bit but yeah, so today is the last day. It's kind of been a long week, you know, like that home stretch, the time kind of just crawls by. But I have learned so much about my body this week and last week especially. And I can't wait to tell you about it. Okay. So we're all done with the reset. It's been quite a journey. Who knew three weeks would change so much? As you know, I was in a support group. We were all keeping each other accountable, venting to each other, you know, describing our experiences with each other. And so there was about six of us ladies in this support group together. And overall, we've lost 71 pounds split between six people in three weeks just by eating differently is amazing to me. That just blows me away. The weight loss is amazing and the physical results are amazing. The inches, the difference in our before and after pictures are amazing. You know, just the way a lot of us felt on the inside, including myself, you know, I didn't have a single stomach ache. I didn't have any cramps. Um, that time of the month was a lot less painful for me than it usually is, which just, I wasn't even expecting that, you know? Um, the, the menstrual cramps just were very manageable, manageable compared to normal. Um, I haven't had a headache since like day three and that was a caffeine withdrawal headache. I have been, felt so clear-minded and just comfortable inside. Something I didn't tell you guys before I started this was I used to always get this stabbing pain in my chest and I just thought it was me. It's been happening since I was in college. I just thought it was me. And it's happened to me several times a week where I just, like I, I catch my breath and I can't take a deep breath for a couple seconds because it feels like somebody's stabbing me in the chest. And for the last three weeks, I haven't experienced that at all. And so now it's making me think that it's probably not heart related or you know it's probably not stress related it's probably food related it's probably something I've been eating so I'm gonna be able to experiment when I start bringing in meat and dairy and grains and I'm gonna start experimenting and see what's making me feel that way and hopefully I can solve that problem but I would have never even thought that eating differently could solve that problem without doing the ultimate reset. Funny thing, as far as mood, my mood has basically been the same. I think it's just part of me. I think I'm just kind of a moody person. Um, so mood hasn't really changed. I think that's part of my personality. Um, but energy levels have. I haven't had any major energy spikes. I haven't had any energy drops or anything. I've kind of stayed pretty level. I don't have caffeine or sugar affecting re affecting me right now, which is really nice. I don't have that three o'clock slump happening. I don't feel the need to drink coffee every morning or to 
take my um, pre-workout drink just to get through the day. Um, that's nice. I'm not caffeine um, dependent anymore, which is like freeing in itself. I also learned a lot about how to just make healthy food taste good, you know? Like, who would have thought I could make an entire dinner out of just vegetables? And, you know, make it interesting and tasty. dairy and bread to make my meals taste. It's just nice knowing that I, I've learned how to cook in a different way. I've also learned um, just healthier habits. Drinking almost a gallon of water a day. Being mindful of my eating. Focusing on chewing my food thoroughly. Taking probiotics. My skin cleared up quite a bit actually. I still have a couple, a couple things going on. It just takes a while for your skin to completely heal. But I think eating this way has really made a difference because I'm not seeing any new breakouts, so that's awesome. Um, that was like one of the main reasons I wanted to do this because my skin was just, it was really bothering me and um, I haven't had such bad breakouts since high school, you know, so I was like, what is going on? So that problem has started solving itself and I'm very happy about that. A lot of the other girls have noticed their skin clearing up as well. A lot of girls have noticed emotional detox. Um, they feel like they're just a different person right now. They feel so much better. They feel like they have a bigger purpose and that um, you know nothing is really standing in their way. Like they can overcome excuses uh, is what a lot of them mentioned. Lots of changes besides the physical ones. Um, as far as the physical changes though, I've lost almost um, 9 pounds and 10 inches. And my favorite pair of jeans that I told you I wanted to get back into fit me again. I get to go into the holiday season, I get to go into Thanksgiving and Christmas uh, wearing my favorite jeans again and just feeling better about myself and you know after Thanksgiving um, I I will know how to get back on track I will know how to cook to make my stomach feel good again and just having that knowledge um, is gonna help me in like so many times in the future definitely definitely this was such a learning process I plan on doing this two to three times a year I'm thinking for my personal schedule, I think August, January, and April would be perfect time to do it. Fall detox, and then like a New Year's detox, and then um, like a spring detox before summer. I think that would be like perfect for me. So um, that is my plan. I definitely, this is not like a once and done thing for me. I think this is a program I can always come back to when I'm feeling totally off track with my health and fitness because let's face it. Um, there will be times in the future where I'm feeling like, oh my god, like I'm so behind, I don't know what I'm doing anymore, I just, I don't feel myself, and this is a program that can always pull me out of a slump if I'm in one. So, so now that you've heard all about my experience with the Ultimate Reset, you've watched the video series, and you've heard my day-to-day -day, um, complaints and thoughts, um, just know that I will be doing this two to three times a year. I would love, love, love to partner up with somebody else who wants to get healthier and conquer some food addictions as well. Reach me on Facebook. My link is below this video. I'm always running accountability groups, um, health and fitness groups, but this is a program that I feel so strongly about. It's something I feared in the beginning. I cried. I didn't think I'd be able to do it before I ordered it. And honestly, like the support group is what got me through. So if you are looking for somebody to partner up with, go ahead and message me on Facebook um, or comment below this video and I'll reach out to you. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for joining me on my video series. It's been a blast doing this little project and coming back every week and letting you know my thoughts and sharing my progress with you. It means so much to have support behind me during these programs that I do. So thank you so, so much and until next time.